Yeah. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Jr. Ninety Three, aka you know what I'm ready. I'm back with some more WWE 2K14 gameplay for you guys. We're gonna do a double header tonight. We're gonna do the NXT results and the SmackDown results. Two for one deal, McDonald's. Cause yesterday I was busy, so I apologize for that. So welcome back to more Carnage and some fucking resurrection videos. Welcome back. I got some more WWE 2K14 gameplay for you guys. This is a rematch from the last match where Bret Hart became the new Hardcore Champion. The Big Show was furious. He told me furious. And he gets his rematch. I think this is a 2 out of 3 falls because he was sick of the 20 minute Iron Man match. So I'm like, alright, fine. You want 2 out of 3 falls? Fine, you got it. So this is the rematch. And this is the last match of the Hardcore Title rivalry. No matter who wins, we're done. That's it. We move on. We have to progress. So, Bret Hart, the new Hardcore Champion, the reigning defending Hardcore Champion in his first title defense against the former Hardcore Champion, the Big Show. And Big Show is pissed. I would not want to get in this man's way. You know, it's a, uh, what is this, a Hell in a Cell match? Big Show requested. So I gave him the match he fucking wanted. All right. So, we're going to start with the NXT results. I got the NXT results for July 17th, 2014. And we're going to make this quick because, you know, SmackDown is more important. So, the first match was the Vandal, Vi the Vandal Villain versus Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. So, match is going in and uh, the, the Vandal Villains, whatever the fuck they're called, they won. When Simon did a cheap roll up to uh, one of the guys, and then Sylvester came out, Marcus, a lot of people were interfering in this match. But whatever, that's just how it is. The next match was CJ Parker versus Xavier Woods. Match going in, CJ Parker wins from his finisher, a double leg cradle. That's it, match was done. Next match, very disappointed for me. So, uh, you know. It, it was a Divas match. Sasha Banks versus Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, my favorite Diva in NXT. And very pissed. Uh, Sasha Banks won from a uh, cross-face submission. So I'm pissed. The next match, Adam Rose versus Jason Jordan. And Adam Rose, you know, match going in. Adam Rose won from his finisher to party foul. And he won. And the main event, Sami Zayn versus Tyson Kidd. My boy Sami Zayn went in. Match is going in. He does a submission. The, the Koji clutch. And Tyson Kidd tapped out. So that was the NXT results. For July 17th, 2014. And now we have the SmackDown results. I got the SmackDown results for July 18th, 2014. Right away. My boy. Dean Ambrose makes his way to the ring. Talking shit about what happened on Monday. That, that 3 one assault from Kane, Randy Orton, and Seth Rollins. And then he's like, you know what? Why wait until Sunday? Let's face right now, Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins... You know, Golden Titan Tron says, oh, I'm still, I'm not medically cleared to fight yet because I tweaked my knee. You know, he, 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 you know he's bullshitting him. And then we find out that Dean Ambrose will face Kane tonight. I think that's the main event. So, pretty interesting. We'll find out what happens as the show progresses. So, the first match of the night, a tag team match, Dolph Ziggler to show off. And the United States champion, the Celtic Warrior, the Great White, Sheamus versus Dumbass. Who now resides in Hollywood, California. So he thinks he's nice. Not because he's a movie star. And fuck. Dumb. Go. You gotta emphasize the A's like he does. And you know, Max is going in. And um. You know, Sheamus does a broad kick to Fandango. To the fucking resurrection. Dolph Ziggler does a zigzag to the Miz. To the fucking resurrection. And then Dolph Ziggler wins for his team. Next match. Was a one-on-one -on -one match. Divas match. Elisa Fox versus Eva Marie. Nikki Bella was a special guest referee. And basically, um, you know, they started fighting a little bit. Then they both double teamed Nikki Bella. So, match ended in no contest. Whatever. The next match was Chris Jericho versus Luke Harper. I have to say, this match was really good. This match was fucking good. Match was going in. Luke Harper does a fucking power bomb. And everyone thought it was over. Nope, gets a two count. Chris Jericho starts going in. Does the wall to Jericho early on. But uh, Luke Harper gets out of it. And then Chris Jericho does a cheap roll up. And then he wins the match. After that, you know, they triple team him. The Y family attack him. And then the WWE Tag Team Champions. Ooh! So it's Jimmy J. Uso, Sons of Rikishi come out and, and uh, save Chris Jericho. And then after that, the next match, Kofi Kingston versus Alberto Del Rio. And 
you know, match is going in, and uh, Del Rio does a double stomp to Kofi's chest, and then Alberto Del Rio wins the match after that. And then after that, the next match is a Divas match, tag team match, Summer Rae and Layla versus Paige, and the new women, no, well, not women, go WWE Divas champion, there we go, Divas champion, AJ Lee. So, match is going in. And uh, AJ Lee, she does a blind tag to Paige. Like, she blind tag Paige. And then, um, she does, you know, AJ Lee does the Black Widow. And Summer Rae taps out. And then after that, AJ Lee and Paige have a stare down. Because, you know, they're going to have a rematch at a battleground. AJ Lee will defend the Divas title in her first title defense against Paige, former champion. And then the main event for this evening, Dean Ambrose versus the Big Red Monster, Kane. Of course, not Attitude Era Kane, because that Kane was the best. Out of all these canes. Just saying. So, you know, match is going in. And, uh, obviously... Well, alright, so Kane tries to go for a tombstone. But Dean Ambrose tosses him to the ring post. And then, you know, Dean Ambrose was about to win. And try and do his finisher. And then, um, Seth Rollins comes out of nowhere. Hits Dean Ambrose with the briefcase. Money in the bank briefcase. Causes for disqualification. So, Dean Ambrose wins via disqualification. After that, he starts to fight Kane. But Kane choke slams him. And then Seth Rollins does the curb stomp on the steel steps. And then that's it. SmackDown ends with Seth Rollins and Kane standing tall. So yeah, that was SmackDown results for July 18th, 2014. And um, I have to say, it was actually a pretty interesting SmackDown tonight. And now, you know, we'll go back to this. I already gave my predictions earlier on from, from main event. So if you guys didn't see the predictions for Battleground, there it is. Go there. And um, I have to say, you know, the, the match is all fucking good. For Battleground. I'm actually curious what the fuck's gonna happen. Because Cena better retain or Roman Reigns wins and becomes a new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I don't know, but it has to be one of the two. And then, you know, there's a lot of good matches. We'll find out who the new Intercontinental Champion is from that Battle Royal. And, and, you know, it's a whole bunch of good matches. Actually, I should just go to it real quick. And, you know, I'll, I'll just, you know, say one more time who's winning, I guess. Uh, let me see. Let me go to Battleground. Battleground, let's go to the matches. Alright, so we'll start with the pre-show and work our way up. Alright, so we have the pre-show, Cameron vs. Naomi, you know, former tag team partners, former fucking Dachos. I don't know if they're going to go back as a team, I don't know, because they've been beefing a lot. I, obviously, Naomi's going to win, because she's better out of the two. I don't know. Uh, next is the Intercontinental, Ten Intercontinental Battle Ground Battle Royal, and, you know, Wade Barrett is in, but actually, I didn't, I think I fucked up, give my predictions now, I think I fucked up a little bit, um, I didn't even say I was gonna win this match, um, for me, I don't know, Sheamus, if Sheamus wins, then he can unify the titles in a kind of any United States, but I'm actually going for, I think I'm gonna go for Cesaro, and Dolph Ziggler. There's a lot of people in this match, but I don't want to mention all of them because there's too many. So probably Cesaro or Dolph Ziggler will become the new Intercontinental Champion. Then we have the WWE Tag Team Title Match. The Wyatt Family versus The Usos. Jimmy J. Uso, Sons of Akishi. You know, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan trying to win this match. You know, to 23 falls. So the first team to get two falls wins the match and become the Tag Team Champions. Wyatt Family building a lot of momentum. You know, these past couple weeks. So we'll find out who wins. I'm, I'm going for the Usos for this match. Those are my boys. Next match is a Divas match. AJ Lee defending her title against Paige. And I'm going to go for Paige. Because she's one of my favorite Divas. And, um, yeah. Uh, we have USA versus Russia. Jack Swagger versus Rusev. Obviously, Jack Swagger representing the United States. I got to go for him. Then we have Chris Jericho versus Bri Wyatt. I want Chris Jericho to win, but I feel Bry Wyatt's going to win. For the simple fact, 
is that he has to build momentum. You know, he, he went up against John Cena in the past, beat him once. Probably going to beat Chris Jericho now. You know, he has to build a lot of momentum. But, he's, you know, he's young, you know, and people like him. So I think Brian Wyatt's going to win. Then we have Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Two of my boys, even though they're not in the Shield together and Roman Reigns. Those are my three boys still. But I feel Seth Rollins is going to win by fakeness. I feel like he comes in to feel like Triple H or something like that. And he's going to win. But in reality, I want Dean Ambrose to win. So we'll see what happens. And then, of course, the main event, the WWE World Heavyweight title match, fatal four-way match, Kane, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and my boy, the 15-time world champion, John Cena, the reign and defending WWE World Heavyweight champion, John Cena, in his first title defense. So I want Cena to win. I feel he's going to retain. That will be kind of stupid if he loses the title already. He just won it. So I feel Cena's retaining. And yeah, that's it. So, Battleground this Sunday, July 20th, 2014. And yeah, we're going to see what happens. We are going to see. So, that's it. So, we'll go back to this match. I, I hate when I call the matches late, but it's alright. Because, you know, these predictions and results have to go in first. So, Bret Hart going in. Right when I say that, Big Show now. Big Show did his comeback, as you saw, a couple seconds ago. And I don't even know what the fuck the score is, but we'll find out momentarily. This match is almost over in like three minutes. So, Bret Hart trying to build some momentum. And then, yep, Bret Hart still going in. So, I don't know, in, in their last encounter, I felt, I felt Bret Hart basically dominated most of the match. Because, you know, he weakened Big Show to the point where Big Show tapped out twice in a matter of seconds. By what the the sharpshooter and the master lock. Like I'm like, what the fuck? And the final score was Bret Hart four points, Big Show two points. But I guess Big Show got tight. That's uh, twenty minute Iron Man match. He wants the match shorter to win quicker, I guess. So this is a two out of three full. And here comes the KO punch. Is that a fucking resurrection? And we have a cover. Ref, cover. One, two, three. Oh, and the score so far. Big show, one point. Bret Hart, zero points. Does that mean the match is over? Of course it doesn't. But the match is not over. Bret Hart, cheap pin, cover off. He's going to won. Wow, so the first fall in, in 12 and a half minutes. Wow. Around there. Oh, Bret Hart trying to go for a drop kick. That didn't work. Big show now trying to go in. We have a submission. Ref, we have a submission. Ref, what are you doing, ref? What is the ref doing? He's not even moving. Okay. Weird. Oh, and Big Show, I thought he was going for another KO punch. What's going on with the ref? Okay, I don't know. The ref is momentarily frozen. Wow, alright. Bret Hart, Irish Whip, and Big Show. Oh, and that running drop kick again. Now he's stomping away. That's it. Bret Hart might be closer on a point. We don't know. Let's find out. Whoa, 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 Bret Hart. It's an animal. The only way to the big show. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it is. The power driver to the fucking resurrection. There's the ref moving now. All right, we have a cover right now. Yep, cover ref. One, two. Oh, and big show kicked out at two and seven eights, JR. Wow, I cannot believe he kicked out of that. That's crazy. All right, this match is going in. Oh, big show, big show. Camel Clutch, he's done, he's, he's did this a lot with the great colleague back in WWE 13. Will Bret Hart tap? Will we have a new champion? Yes, we do. All right, the final score, Big Show, two points. Bret Hart, zero points. And here's your winner. And the new Hardcore Champion. WWE Hardcore Champion, the Big Show. So, I apologize, this is the last match. We have to, we have to progress, you know. But, uh... Yeah, it was alright. It was a good robbery these gentlemen had. Uh, I think Big Show... No, Bret Hart had two wins. Big Show had one win right now. Bret Hart won the last match and the, la the, ma and the first match of the robbery. But this video and commentary is coming to an end. So this is Joey June 93, aka Order Any. Hope you guys liked the video and the commentary. Stay tuned for more Carnage and the fucking Resurrection videos. And show... Well, for stay tuned for the next match. And stay tuned for the next video. And stay tuned for the Battleground results this Sunday, July 20th, 2014.